Assalamualaikum and hi everyone This is lecture 1 of 9 The third function is quadratic function Let's look for the introduction We have two types of form The first one is general form fx equals to ax square plus bx plus c where a, b and c are numbers not equals to 0 The second one is standard form fx equals to a x minus h square plus k where a not equals to 0 For quadratic function, the highest power of x is square to the power of 2 To sketch the graph we have to find a minimum or maximum point hk. For standard form, we can directly found it from the function hk. But for general form, we have to use the formula h equals to negative b over 2a. b is the coefficient of x and a is coefficient of x square. After we get the value of h, we substitute into k formula. k formula is actually from the function in general form. We substitute the value of h. After we get the points, we have to decide whether the point is maximum or minimum point. If A is greater than 0, positive value, it means that the point is a minimum. While if A is less than 0, it means that the point is maximum. The graph for quadratic function fx equals to ax square plus bx plus c. The graph of a quadratic function is a curve called a parabola. Parabolas may open outward or downward, maximum or minimum point. There is a basic U-shape and vary in width or steepness. The step to sketch the graph, first determine the shape, maximum or minimum. Find the point HK, find X and Y intercept if any, and sketch the curve that passes through the points. The first graph is for a greater than 0. a is the coefficient of x square. So when a is positive, the graph is minimum. U shape. From fx equals to x square, a is equals to 1, b is equals to 0, and c equals to 0. So when we want to find hk if you use the formula your h is 0 and your k is also 0 so that's why our minimum point at the origin okay 0 0 the domain is from negative infinity to infinity okay remember that the domain is the value of x that you can substitute into the function for the range is the value of y. So if you refer to the graph, value of y is start from the origin until infinity. So that's why your range is 0 to infinity. And the bracket is close bracket because 0 is included in the function. The next graph is for a less than 0 so for a less than 0 the graph is maximum for the graph fx equals to negative x square the maximum point is at 0 0 we can use the same step as previous graph so in this case your hq also 0 0 the different only the value of a value of a is negative one and that's why we sketch the graph as a maximum curve 
for the domain the domain is all values from negative infinity to infinity and for range the value of y we start from negative infinity and it stop at zero no graph above the x-axis that's why our range is starting from negative infinity okay until zero zero is close bracket example 3 sketch the graph of fx equals to x squared minus x minus 2 find its domain and range first we want to determine the shape so we refer to coefficient of x squared that is a coefficient of x squared or a is equals to 1 a is greater than 0 so we can conclude that the shape is minimum curve then we proceed to find h and k h and k we use the value of a b and c so a equals to 1 b equals to negative 1 and c equals to negative 2 so the formula to find h is negative b over 2a we substitute the negative negative 1 over 2a times 1 so the value is 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 5. Then substitute the value of h into k. We substitute into the into the function. The function is x square minus x. Okay, minus two. So 0 0.5 square minus 0 0.5 minus two. So you get the value of negative two point. 2, 5. So the point is 0 0.5 negative 2.25. Okay, after that we find x and y intercept. x intercept is when y equals to 0. x square minus x minus 2 equals to 0. We factorize x minus 2, x plus 1 equals to 0. So you have two values of x intercept. Then we proceed to y intercept is when x equals to 0. y equals to 0 square minus 0 minus 2. So y equals to negative 2. Uh, when we want to sketch the curve, okay, draw the y n as axis. First, we want to plot the minimum point. Okay, minimum point 0 0.5 and negative 2.25. Then x equals to 2 and x equals to negative 1, the x intercept. And also y equals to negative 2. So you get the curve of fx equals to x square minus x minus 2. The domain is negative infinity to infinity. Or the value of okay, x. And then the range is start from the minimum value negative 2.25 until infinity. For minimum curve, okay, we have the minimum value for range. So the range is negative 2.25 until infinity. Example 4, sketch the graph of fx equals to negative x squared plus 2x minus 1. Find its domain and range. First step, we want to determine the shape. So we refer to coefficient of x square so a equals to negative 1 less than 0 that means we have a maximum curve find hk let's list down the value of a b and c so a is negative 1 
B is equals to 2 and C equals to negative 1. Substitute into formula. So H equals to negative B over 2A. So negative 2 over 2A. So we have H equals to 1. Substitute K. Substitute into the function. Negative 1 square plus 2 times 1 minus 1. So K equals to 0. The point is 1, 0. Maximum point. Let's proceed to find X and Y intercept. X intercept when Y equals to 0. Negative X square plus 2 X minus 1 equals to 0. First, I change the symbol of X square to positive. We can multiply it all by negative 1. We factorize so X minus 1 times X minus 1 equals to 0. So we have the same value of X. So X equals to 1. Only one X intercept for the function. Then for Y intercept, X equals to 0. So Y equals to negative 0 square plus 2 times 0 minus 1. Y equals to negative 1. Draw the X and Y axis. Maximum point is 1, 0. Plot the point. Then the X and Y intercept. X equals to 1 and Y equals to negative 1. So we get maximum curve. What is the domain and range? So the domain is from negative infinity to infinity. And the range, okay, for maximum curve, it has a maximum value of Y. So it must start from negative infinity. Okay, until it stop at y equals to 0. So range is negative infinity to 0. We have no graph above the x-axis. Example 5. Sketch the graph of fx equals to negative 2x squared plus 3x plus 2. For this example, it gives you the value of x. x must be greater than or equal to negative 3 and less than or equal to 4. Find its domain and range. This is the value of x. So actually, this one is a domain. And we must sketch the graph only at this domain. First, determine the shape. I used to remember how to determine. We refer to the coefficient of x square. So, a is negative 2. Negative value. Your graph should be maximum. Find the point hk. Uh, so first, what is your A, B and C? So A is equals to negative 2, B is 3, C is 2. Uh, now we can get the value of H. So H equals to negative B, B is 3 over 2, A. The value is 3 over 4 or 0 0.75. K. Substitute into the function negative 2 times 0 0.75 square plus 3 0 0.75 plus 2. K is equals to 25 over 8 or 3.125. Find X and Y intercept. So Y equals to 0. Negative 2 x square plus 3x plus 2 equals to 0. 
multiply all with negative 1 you want to change negative x square to positive 2 x square minus 3 x minus 2 equals to 0 2 x plus 1 multiply with x minus 2 x equals to negative 1 over 2 and x equals to 2 then for x equals to 0 y intercept negative 2 y equals to y equals to negative 0 square plus 3 times 0 plus 2 y equals to 2 so for this question for this example it give you the limit x must be starting from negative 3 until 4 so we have to substitute the value so when x equals to negative 3 what is your value of y substitute into the function so y should be equals to negative 25 when x equals to 4 y equals to negative 18 the point is negative 3 negative 25 4 negative 18 for this question we have more points to plot okay, sketch the x and y axis this is the maximum point maximum point 3 over 4 25 over 8 okay this is the point the next one is intercept x equals to negative half x equals to 2 then y equals to y equals to 2 and the last one is these two points negative 3 negative 25 and 4 negative 18 now we have how many points 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay we have six points okay sketch the graph remember it is a maximum curve okay for the domain okay for the domain we start from negative 3 so at negative 3 look for the symbol the symbol is okay x greater than equal okay we have to draw 10 circle and it stop at less than equals to 4 at 4 also we have a 10 circle what is the domain and range the domain we take it from the question negative 3 to 4 both are close bracket okay because it has equal sign so the symbol is the bracket is close bracket then for range remember for range we take the value of y so find the minimum value of y for this graph so the minimum value of the graph is negative 25 and it stop at 25 over 8 so the range is from negative 25 until 25 over 8 Thank you.